Welcome back to another music theory video by abmusictheory.com. Today's lesson is about ledger lines. In music, you find that at times you need to write notes that extend above or below the five lines of the staff. In order to extend the range of the notes above or below the staff, we use what we call ledger lines. Let me show you how they look like. Here's a ledger line note above the staff, and here's one below. In grade 1 music theory, you only need to identify and draw a ledger line one below the treble clef staff and one above the bass clef staff. Let me pull up two staffs to show you this note. The one below the treble clef staff is the note C. And the one above the bass clef staff is also called C. Take note, both C's are the very same note on the keyboard. What I mean by this is, whether you play this note C in the bass clef or in the treble clef, they will both sound exactly the same. Both C's represent the nearest C in the middle of the keyboard. That's why we call this note the middle C. When you draw your middle C in the treble clef, don't draw your ledger line too far or too close to the first line of the staff. This is too close. And this is too far. This is just right. Likewise, when you draw your middle C in the bass clef, don't draw your ledger line too far or too close to the last line of the staff. This is too close. This is too far. And this is just right. You can practice drawing ledger lines with your little ruler to help you draw short straight lines. With practice, you'll be able to draw these lines without a ruler. Just as a reminder, in grade 1, you only need to learn how to draw the middle C in the treble clef as well as in the bass clef. Alright, that's it for now. That's your new lesson for this session. I'll see you in the next video.